The following program is aggressive in nature. It may contain mature themes that are not suitable for everyone. Viewer discretion is advised. Cyborg steals the spotlight from the face of female MMA. Babalu's belt is gone in 60 seconds. And Melendez avenges his first career loss. We'll recap last weekend's historic Strike Force event and talk to one of the sport's biggest superstars on this edition of Canada's most comprehensive mixed martial arts program. This is the MMA Show. Yo, 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 and away we go. I'm Moro Ranello, back from my sojourn to San Jose, California, where Strike Force crowned its first female champion. None other than Hall of Famer Randy the Natural Couture will join me to discuss the Carano versus Cyborg Clash, as well as his own upcoming tilt against Antonio Rodrigo Noguera at UFC 102. In our Canadian Corner segment, I'm going to be talking to Beamer Comfort of the Calgary based Hard Knocks Championship Fighting Promotion. He's involved in spearheading an effort to get amateur MMA established in Alberta. So stay tuned for all of that but right now it's time to get you caught up with the news of the week this week on Canadian Corner, I'm joined by Beamer Comfort, who is the president of the Calgary-based Hard Knocks Fighting Championship. Now, Beamer, you're a former captain of the University of Calgary wrestling team who's a Dean's List law student. So how did you get involved in mixed martial arts? Well, in, a, in 2006, I retired from active competition after uh, a not-so-impressive run uh, uh, to make the Olympic squad and retired to help uh, Ari Taub, who's now my partner, uh, trained to get ready for Beijing, and he represented uh, Canada as a heavyweight in uh, Greco-Roman wrestling in Beijing. What are you hoping to accomplish through your Hard Knocks promotion? I think what we're trying to do is develop both. We're the first promotion in Calgary to run all amateur events. We're also about to become the first promotion in Calgary to run pro-am events. And what we're trying to do is develop amateur MMA and grassroots professional MMA so we actually have a legitimate development system in Canada to funnel guys to the bigger organizations uh, like your Strike Force and your UFC uh, down the road. How has the Calgary Commission uh, been throughout this process? Have they been supportive? The Calgary Commission has been totally unsupportive. Hmm. Uh, we began in, uh, I approached them in December of last year about uh, the requirements of what they'd like to see in an amateur event. The bylaw in Calgary was quite clear. Uh, it stated that uh, amateur events in all combative sports could be run without uh, municipal approval. Uh, notwithstanding that, they had been telling people that amateur events were in fact prohibited in Calgary. So I challenged that position and, and told them that basically we would love to have the commission involved and we'd love to have uh, their guidance and what they'd like to see in a safe amateur event and uh, they declined to be involved in that way so Ari and myself recruited a, a couple former Olympians and uh, who wanted to be involved in mixed martial arts and set up uh, the Alberta Amateur Mixed Martial Arts Association to uh, create rules for the amateur uh, events in Alberta and try to unify the amateur community in Alberta so that we could run events. When, uh, is, when and where is your next event? We are running events uh, at the Silver Dollar Casino here in Calgary. Our next one is, uh, is September 26th, and the commission in Calgary has now come on board, and they are now uh, sanctioning and regulating uh, both the amateur and the pro side. So uh, we've had a big turnaround there, and we've got a chance to uh, run events that are not just overseen by an amateur sporting body, but uh, with some municipal government uh, uh, enforcement behind it so it's really good to see that now the amateur events are being recognized in this jurisdiction best of luck to you beamer keep up the good fight you too marl thanks a lot you're a great canadian voice in mma thank you very much if you're